Yeah, hopefully not with 10 men again. Uh, that, that, that'll be a great start. But look, uh, uh, for us, I think uh, playing away from home against a, a good opposition that hasn't lost a game this season uh, with 10 men, I thought uh, the boys uh, were very uh, valiant in their performance. Uh, still would have liked to get some moments when we won the ball to, to create opportunities, but uh, that didn't happen. And that were, that were some things that we analysed and showed with the boys as well. They're even with 10 men that we can try to try to look to create opportunities. Uh, but like I said, there's some, something to, to continue to build on. And I thought that game, we started off the game quite well. Uh, I conceded a soft goal uh, uh, with Melbourne, uh, Melbourne's equaliser. But look, overall, uh, happy with the performance at the end. Yeah, well, we, obviously every every coach and every team likes clean sheets. It, gives, it makes it a lot easier to, to win games if you're scoring goals. Uh, but the way we play with a high press and, you know, we, we give uh, opponents space uh, in behind, uh, especially if they're not under maximum pressure. And there are going to be those moments where we do take that, that risk. But uh, from the press, you saw even against Victory, we had a couple of moments where I think Joe got in behind when uh, Corey got his foot into a ball. It was a great opportunity to, to capitalise on. And, and when we've done it well, uh, we've created opportunities from it. Uh, and it's, again, risk v reward. At the end of the day, we want to play a high-risk game of, of winning the ball up high and closer to the opponent's goal and create opportunities. And there's moments they're going to break our press, and it's how we deal with it. Uh, and look, we, we still didn't want to park the bus. We set up the boys, we changed the shape uh, in the second half with 10 men and there were still moments for us to, to press. And when we did win the ball, we won of those forward runs, but we didn't get it because obviously the boys spent a lot of energy uh, without the ball, but uh, that's something definitely we can improve on. Yeah, look, Fabio, we got option of uh, Mitch as well. Uh, can play up there and previously we've played a game without no nines. So, you know, there's a lot of ways we can play the game, but uh, look, Fabio has been working well uh, this week uh, at training. So we'll see what decision we make. Yeah, look, I, I think it's it's not easy. Look, it's not easy being a referee. Uh, whatever decision you make, you're always upsetting somebody, you know. Uh, at the end of the day, so and they they see it live, and obviously VAR in the, in the booth. But uh, the rules aren't designed to to look at intent. Uh, you know, the, the intent of the player was to he was looking at the ball, trying to bring the ball down, and and a player comes in and, and tries to clear a ball, and then they they make contact. So. You know, the, like I said, the rules aren't designed for, for the player's intent. It's, it's pretty black and white. And I think, uh, I think it's more so of, 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 of the officials trying to not manage the game, but understand the game and manage the game and, and the intent of the player coming in to actually make that challenge. Because if you look at both players, both players are looking at the ball and, and it's just a collision where they come together. And that's the way I see it. Uh, but like I said, the rules aren't designed for the intent of the player. It's, it's black and white. You know, there's contact uh, over the ankle uh, and... And the rules say that that's a, a red card. Yeah, we were, we were looking looking to get uh, Robbie 20, 30 minutes uh, in, in the last game, but obviously the, uh, going down to 10 men uh, changed that. So, uh, we weren't able to uh, utilise him in that sense. But look, Robbie's been going well. He's training fully with the group uh, this week, and uh, uh, hopefully we can get more minutes out of him this weekend. Look, I, I believe Western uh, United have been playing some really good football. Uh, they created a lot of, a lot of opportunities and haven't capitalised on those moments that they've created even the last game against uh, Western Sydney, you know, they, they pressed them quite well uh, and they created some good moments, just didn't capitalise and obviously uh, Western Sydney came once and they uh, created that moment where they scored and won the game 1-0 and uh, obviously defended quite well after that. So, look, they're, they, they're the game that we played against them was a good game. There was moments that they, they picked us off uh, when we pressed them and I think those are moments that we looked at of how we can improve it in those moments. But uh, again, for me, the focus is on how we do things, what we do with the ball and, and how we influence the game. Yeah, look, I, th I think they're used to the travel because they've been all over the place. Uh, I haven't been to Hobart before. I think we played uh, Western United in Launceston uh, last season uh, and we thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, the weather was nice, uh, great football weather, a lot cooler. So I think it's going to be a great trip uh, against a good opponent. Uh, I don't look at where they're sitting on the table because I still believe those, they've got some really good players that can hurt you. So again, we need to be uh, on our game and, and make sure we're focused.